But what are some other comments he made in that interview that you felt like he was lying about? Well, I don't think in Hollywood you get um, um, sexually um, taken advantage of as a black man to get a part. I don't, there's nobody in the history of entertainment, not even Eddie Murphy, that got offered 50 million four times and turned it down. It ain't happening. The, w most of the time when I see a comic or actor say that Hollywood, uh, you have to do certain things to make it in Hollywood, are people who can't make it in Hollywood. You can't make it, so you come up with these, these claims that you have to do sexual favors to make it. But in actuality, to really make it in Hollywood is like hitting the lottery. The odds are against you because it's a playing field that most blacks would not excel in. If I told you right now to do a research paper on the, the achievement of black actors and black actresses in Hollywood, you will come back with a most disappointing research paper. Because even when you win an Oscar, it doesn't guarantee you money. Even when you've done certain things, it doesn't guarantee you money. So you have to be a hustler in anything, right? You're a hustler. You used to work at Walmart. You found the way to make money. And now you're successful. Let's talk about Taraji Henderson. Let's talk about Terrence Howard. People in that field who we thought was sitting on 20, 30 million maybe. Thought. When you think of Halle Berry, you're like, oh, you know she's living in some big mansion somewhere. But here's people that took Hollywood and got played. And years ago, people always say, TK, you should do TV and do a film. But at a, at a young age, I knew that wasn't for me. I don't even know the business that well. I just knew that I couldn't put my life in the hands of someone telling me you're good for the part or you're not good for the part. Or thousands of people going up for the same part. Do you understand? That don't make sense. I, I'm not doing that. What's real is what, when you have that money in your hand and you can feel it, right? You, you feel that money in your hand, that's real. And people get caught up the illusion of Hollywood. People really get caught up in this. And in, in if you get on one TV show and you don't work no more, there are people who won't work no more because they were seen on television and they got to play this reputation that they're successful, but they are detrimental to their career, detrimental to their children, detrimental to their girlfriend, because they keep, oh, the big one is coming, the big one is coming. But we don't have those opportunities. Imagine if there was 20 African-American movies coming out every year. The black community would be balling, but what? We get one black film maybe every two or three years. Okay, let's take the Black Panther. Even though, oh, our guy was the lead star. I bet Google how much he made for Black Panther. And then Google how much Black Panther made. See, African Americans think with their heart, not with their mind. See, we, we love fairy tales. See, we rushed to go see the Black Panther because of our imaginations, right? But all it did was make somebody billions of dollars, but that didn't go to the actor. Let's take Taraji and um, Benjamin Button. She got 150000 That movie made millions. But with Taraji's situation, Taraji is one of them nice young girls. You could tell that her agency, whoever her agency is, I don't know who her agency is. I don't want nobody to sue me. But here's the play on Taraji coming from a street hustler. Someone told her, do this movie because you're playing with Brad Pitt and this movie is going to make your career. Because, let's take this mighty, listen. Someone came to you with a budget of 167 million. They say, mighty, listen, we get this budget of 167 million, but we could only give your client $150,000. Come on, man. Thank you. You're going to be like, what, 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 what did you say? Mighty, it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> Do this. So here's my take on what I really, and I stand on this. They paid Taraji a few million to the agency. They paid her. The agency told Taraji, 
That's all she can get is a hundred fifty thousand. Do this movie, and it's gonna blow up your career. So when the color purple came out, everybody's like, "Hey, go support the color purple and show Taraji and them that we support, so she could get a check." Taraji's not the face of Hollywood. You think somebody cared that was sitting up in executive office? All oh, the, the people came out to see Taraji. They stuck giving her a bigger check. All it did was put money in the producer's pocket. And what I saw yesterday is the color purple flopped. It did good on Christmas Day. And after that, boom, it went down. The world is different now. What kind of movies you got to bring to the African-American man and woman? You got you got to bring some real stuff for us to really um, get behind and feel like my prediction. I mean, my daughter predicted this together. We believe that the Bob Marley movie, February 14th, is going to be the movie that all um, African-Americans are going to see. That movie looks really, really good. And I, 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 I back that movie. I could just, I feel the vibe on that movie. It's going to be amazing. But that's what we need out here. And I wish they could pass a law into Hollywood that is mandatory. You know, they had that, uh, what's that act they had to start hiring black people back in the day? Affirmative action. They need something like, yeah, they need something like that in Hollywood to guarantee 20 movies a year for the black community. Good budgets, good topics, but when African Americans make it and they get to the top, they they try to help other people, but they don't really take care of the people that really should. And, and I hate to throw Tyler Perry under the bus, but Tyler Perry is very successful, but he does the same thing to his our, our, his, our people the same way Hollywood does. He don't give nobody the big check. I know he gave the um um whatever her name was a million dollars at one time, but that's nothing. If you're going to be a boss, be a boss. Like, if you're going to really be that dude, be that dude, yo. Be that dude. But the world, is, you, you understand? Like, you, you, you know me for a while now. You, you've seen everything I do. I push honesty. I push leadership. I push, yo, let's try to do right. Let's be humble. People take the celebrity thing so far. And it's all in your head. Nobody cares.